אמבסדור כריסטוף ביגו, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. תודה אמבסדור, we are conducting this conversation with you a day after the presidential elections. So normally we would be asking questions of political nature, but not this time. We will, in your permission, as the ambassador of France in Israel, we will focus on culture, if it's okay with you. No problem, I'm by now. Ambassador, it is no secret that during your tenure here in Israel, you have become one of the most well-known ambassadors in Israel. Almost a household face. <laughs> And lots of it has to do with the intensive cultural work of your embassy under your leadership. Will you be kind enough to tell us a bit about this cultural activity, activity of your embassy? Yes, of course. First of all, I would have to say, you know, that culture for me is, you know, at the core of diplomacy. Especially, especially between two countries like France and Israel, who share together a common history. And there we was see, a, we there see it behind you. Exactly. We see ben Goyon and Ben Gorion and Ben Gaulle. People remember a time when the passports were in French in this country. Right. Where people were singing Edith Piaf in the streets of Tel Aviv. And this history is not only history, it's also part of our present. And there is a huge appetite, I have to say, in f Israel for French culture. And reciprocally, in France, people love Israeli culture. Look at the results of the Israeli cinema. Look at the prize which was given recently to David Grossman. Look at the fact that uh, the Salon du Livre, the book fair, France was dedicated to Israel. And so here in Israel, as I said, there is a lot of appetite for French culture. And so we try you know, to answer to this demand, to these needs, through a lot of events. For example, we had the cinema festival at Konoa, which was a great success. And for the first time this year, it was done in five, not only in five places, but we extended to three more cities. And there were 20% people uh, uh, in addition to last year who went and attended the uh, festival. The word in French is fantastic. Fantastic, incroyable, génial, yofi. But this is cinema. But we are doing the same thing, you know, for literature, for theater, for just for example, to mention theater and to mention uh, books. We have with the Camerie a great operation which is called Lire en scène. French and Israeli actors are reading French and Israeli literature. Wow. It was a great success last year. We're going to do it in September of this year. In the field also of ideas, I think that the rapport de force is not only the own engine of the world between countries or between people. I believe also in the power of ideas, of intellect, smartness. And so we are going to promote an exchange of ideas between France and Israel. It will be dedicated to a very hot issue, which is called democracy and religion. Oh. It is a hot issue both in France and in Israel. A very sensitive too. Of course, and will unite, you know, French and Israeli philosophers, intellectuals, writers, that are going to, you know, to exchange their experience to work on this subject, will be between the 5th and the 7th of June in Abima. Oh. We always, you know, try in the National Theatre. Absolutely. We always try to work with Israeli partners, whether it's Abima, whether it's the Museum of Israel, whether it's Suzanne Delel when we talk about dance, whether it's the uh, uh, Museum of, for example, of uh, Erzliya. Because this is important, you know, We are working together on the same footing because here we learn a lot also by discussing with Israeli artists, whether it's about video art or whether uh, it's about music. Ambassador, I must say that I'm even more impressed now after listening to you. I was impressed already before I came 
because I'm fully aware of your extensive cultural work. Uh, it is no secret that you have opened your residence in Jaffa to wonderful artists, both from Israel and those coming from France. Actually, I think uh, it will be accurate to describe you and the cultural activity of the French Embassy under your leadership as a culture bridge building between two cultures. It's a bridge and it's also a fantastic, you know, recipe for creativity. You have here in Israel so many young artists. Uh, they want to be well known in France. And as I said, in France, people, you know, love to, to come to Israel to show their talents and to have this kind of French connection, if I may say. With the it was a good Israeli movie. People. It was a good film. It's a good movie, and it was an excellent uh, event, suc very successful one uh, last uh, June uh, here in Tel Aviv. Right, right. And we have also to always have in mind that culture is not only for Tel Aviv. That's you know that's the risk from time to time I face. You don't neglect the periphery. We have also to work with Ofakim. Right. We had uh, recently a project with Joseph Dadoun. We have to work with. Zderot, with the Cinematheque of Zderot, we have to work with, with Haifa. We have to work with the whole and the Israel. And the word in French for this is bravo. <laughs> Thank you. Toda Rava. Uh, avec plaisir. <laughs> Ambassador, uh, we didn't discuss music. And you have hinted before that Israeli musicians, for some reason, might be the language are doing very well in France. For example, uh, the lady singer for the year 2011 was no other than the Israeli Yael Naim. Absolutely. And we see uh, Israeli artists doing very well in Paris. For example, uh, Keren Han. Mm -hmm. And now we have the young but very energetic Rif Cohen. So, this is really a cultural bridge being built in front of our amazed eyes. Yes, and they're all able you know, to sing in French, in Hebrew and English. And uh, for example, uh, Rive Cohen at the Barbie, uh, it was a few months ago. It was a great, you know, a great concert. And what uh, was amazing is that you managed to bring, if I'm not wrong, a Moroccan French singer mm -hmm. And this was really very, very special. It was very courageous from her coming here. She wanted definitely to come here. There was a few pressure on her entourage not to come, but yes. she decided that it was worth it. Yes. And uh, she did a magnificent concert. And she gave a wonderful Edward, concert. Absolutely, at the Barbie at that time. Right. And I remember a, a wonderful performance by Francois Atlan. Yes, Françoise Atlan. In your she's, residence? Yes, she's a uh, uh, Judeo uh, Andalou uh, Morocco. music. She's uh, from uh, Morocco and she's a composer, she's a musicologue and she's also a singer. And she played all around Israel and she was very nice to play uh, at the residence right. with some friends. And she cooperated with the Andalusian uh, Orchestra. Orchestra of Ashdod. Of Ashdod. And I think in your residence... Because with Russian musicians... Amazing. <laughs> playing Andalus. <laughs> Studio Andalus music. And it, was Not very, an easy and it was very impressive to see the mayor of Ashdod coming yeah, to your residence. Yeah. If I may, Ambassador, uh, you have been here for more than a year now? Yeah, two years and a half. And uh, we wish ourselves that uh, your tenure will continue forever if we may say so. It's not in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you, what is your impression as a foreigner, although it's unfair, you are almost one of us now, what is your impression of Israeli culture? Well, it's, this culture is, you know, it's a very young culture, very, very creative, there is no taboo, it goes into all directions. 
a very uh, um, and also I have to say there's an element in which it's connected with French culture if, for example you see, look at movie, Israeli movies they go into the intimacy they go into private privacy they go into uh, what uh, connect people we know with their roots with their lives it's not an industry uh, the scenario may not be you know written in all details in advance and it's, it gives you know another look to reality uh, a bit from uh, from far apart uh, with a poetic dimension and in many ways you know I see a kind of parallel with the French cinema maybe this is also why this there is so much connection between these two cinemas you know that we co-finance, co-produce a lot of Israeli movies. Right. Um, thanks to Amos Gitai. Thanks to Amos Gitai, yes. And thanks to uh, Arte, for example, and Jérôme Clément. Right. And uh, will it be fair to ask you to reveal uh, to our viewers some of your favorites when it comes to Israeli culture? In music? Well, I have to say, uh, I'm especially fond of uh, literature. Okay. So, uh, of course, I've read, you know, the great authors like Amos Oz, like Elizabeth Joshua, like David Grossman. Um, I like also you know, the young generation. Uh, I read a book which is called uh, La Maison à Jami, uh, which is uh, about the history of people living. Uh, in what was not Tel Aviv, but what was Yafo in Jaffa. the 19th century. Mm -hmm. uh, and I uh, also read uh, you know, stories by Edgar Keret, who is also Brilliant. very famous for, for, for his, uh, being a director in the movie uh, world. And also a book uh, which was called Dance Encore, that means Dance Again, by, uh, by uh, Lapid, Nadav Lapid, who is also well known in the world of uh, right. a movie. So, and, uh, and also, you know, something, some, some elements who may be a bit less uh, deep, but which are, which are also very useful for me to understand Israeli society. For example, there was a series of, novel, of novels uh, from, um, well, I may, uh, Batya, no, uh, you know, she's, these are novels uh, who are police novels. Batya Gour. Batya Gour, the, the detective. The murder, the detective the kibbutz, stories, murder yes. at the opera, yes. uh, well, murder on the road to Bethlehem. Right. You know, it, it's also a way to understand better the Israeli culture to, to go deeper. Very impressive. Beyond the diplomatic uh, exchanges. Very impressive. I know also I like also Alana Kimri, you know, La Tigresse, uh, this. So I think you have, a, you have really a great uh, literature uh, that is both, you know, uh, going deep into uh, human emotions and also is, which is entertaining. Ambassador, coming from you, it's the ultimate compliment. <laughs> and what can I wish? Ambassador Christophe Bigot, what can I wish? The Embassy, what can I wish? Institute uh, Francais? Well, you know, we would like, you know, to have uh, um, that the French-speaking uh, Israelis learn French to their kids and their grandkids and that uh, people attend, you know, all the events we are going to do this year and as I said, the next event will be uh, the Forum Democracy and Religion, a very exciting thematic. And then we will have the event with the Camerie about Lire en scène, reading on stage. And, but in between, we have so many other events. You are very busy. We, have, uh, we will, of course, attend the Docavi Festival, which is currently held uh, now, right. which is, uh, you know, short uh, movies. Uh, we will attend, of course, the Israel uh, Festival. Festival in Jerusalem. Uh, and there are a lot of other events planned with, for example, the Museum of Israel, uh, in the upcoming uh, months with uh, my good friend uh, James Snyder. Of course. Ambassador, it's now often that we have to say uh, to a foreign diplomat, to a foreign foreign ministry, mm -hmm. 
to a foreign ministry of foreign affairs that you make us jealous when it comes to cultural activity. I wish one day we'll be able to do the same. Until then, I want to say uh, merci beaucoup and bonne chance. Toda raba. Toda raba. Shalom, shalom.